maayong bunta guys okay una unang una sa lahat i wanna say thank you ma'am kri ma'am krisha sa lahat ng mga angels sa lahat ng sumuporta sa maliit namin channel from our kababayan in taiwan sa pinas my friends in jordan uh I think we have subscribers in Indonesia and of course my friends in Instagram in uh, in India thank you very much sa lahat ng kababayan po natin na sumuporta sa amin sobrang maraming maraming salamat po way to go so mom Krisha again salamat salamat talaga dai thank you thank you very much mom and uh, hope more people to subscribe so we can Help more people one day. I wish I could go to the Philippines, but this pandemic really changed everything. Because one day I have a plan to help some of our kids in our school where I had uh, I, kung saan ako nagstart ng elementary. So that's one of the plans, but we'll see. I hope so. So today, guys, bago kami pumunta sa doctor, may check up na naman yung asawa ko. I want to show you our greenhouse. I'm not really happy on the result because what happened to that storm? It damaged our greenhouse. So we doubled the, the roof. I'll show you. Dinobli namin yung ano, yung bubong. Ay nako. Namatay yung ano, yung mga lettuce, lettuce ko. Kasi ano, yung lettuce pala hindi siya pweding ano, hindi siya pweding walang masyadong init yung sunlight. So it it needs 6 to 8 hours eh yung dinubli namin yung bubong wala nang ano wala nang masyadong sinag ng araw pumapasok kaya ayun namatay kaya oh, one week na ako sobra hindi pumupunta sa greenhouse kasi ano nalulungkot ako tingnan <laughs> pero in ano naman sa sa mabuting may mabuti namang news may good news naman tayo Yung ampalay ako na akala ko mamamatay rin. Ano siya? Na, namimigay na namumungan naman ng ano, may mga bunga na naman maliliit nga lang. Tapos ito yung bago, yung tinanim ko uh, 2 weeks ago yun. Yun. Yun ako makapit na doon. Tapos may mga maliliit na ampalaya yan si yan yung yung bi na tumutulong sa mga ano ang buyog <laughs> para mag uh, sip sip anang mga kuan sa bulak okay so yun lang may, may nahinog na maliit oh yun may dalawa pa so ano lang siya limang puno lang siya pero ano nakakakuha naman ako ng ampalaya guys tapos dito naman tayo sa strawberry nilipat na namin dito kasi yung yun nga yung sa gilid ng ng greenhouse namin wala na siyang masyadong init kaya nilipat namin dito yung iba patay bagong ano bagong lipat lang yun yung iba oh kailangan namin maglinis dito guys sobrang ano kasi busy sa trabaho lately maaga ako nagsa-start tapos si Javi ano yung ano niya yung yan oh namatay yung, yung iba tumutubo naman yan Pero pag hindi talaga yan mabubuhay, papalitan ko na lang ulit. Kaya yan, oh, may, yung ligaments kasi ni Javi sa, ano, sa, sa right leg niya. Ano, sa trabaho niya. Natour daw ko, no. So, kaya punta rin kami ng doktor. Yan yung more pali, ang palaya guys, oh. Better melon, gamot sa diabetic. <laughs> oh, Tapos may may ibang strawberry rin ako dito. Yung strawberry kasi pwede niyo siyang ilagay dito, hanging plants. Yun, pag namunga, yun. Magaano na siya? Magbitay-bitay na. So, iba guys. Pwede ako magtagalog, mag-English, magbisaya kay wala akong bana. So, siya kasabot bisaya og tagalog, di mag-English ko pag naa siya, sorry. Um, so nawa ang palaya, pataka na lang tubo so nasa na lang nanubo yan yung mga strawberry ko yan yung kamatis, medyo late na kasi mag ano ngayon ng kamatis kasi ano na full na next month ito yung orange tree namin na wala pa rin bunga bunga hanggang ngayon tapos yung kangkong ko ayun yun na lang natira kasi hinarvest ko siya every week ako nag harvest 
yun yung baon ko the whole week. Tapos yun guys, yun yung strawberry. Kita nyo? Yung strawberry kahit saan yung ilagay. Mukatay na lang siya maragpaliya. See? Yan yung ano, yan yung runners. O, hindi ko na siya mabunot kasi ano siya, may gamot na. So, ganyan yung hitsura. That's how it looks like. Yan yung runners. May ito, ito. Ito, see? Yan yung runners ng strawberry. Pag na-touch niya yung ano, yung lupa, yung nakakapit na yan. Kaya pwede talaga siyang sa ano, kahit anong pot. Kasi kami nagre-recycle kami kasi sayang naman yung mga plastic, tinatapon lang. Eh, bawas basura din yun. At least, nakakatulong tayo. Tapos yung grapes namin, ewan ko kung ano nangyari dyan guys. Parang ano na, mamamatay na. Nilipat kasi ni Habi dyan, I guess ano, sobrang init. Tapos ito na yung Malaysian purple chili or purple na sili. ba diba ang dami? Yan, tingnan nyo ang dami-dami. Nasa ano lang siya guys, nasa bucket lang. Oh. See, recycle uli. Huwag nyo, nang, huwag nyo na lang pansinin yung ano ha, yung grapes na naghihingalo na. Ayan yun no, oh. yung purple na sili, magiging ano na siya, magiging red. Kasi ano namin siya, ilalagay namin siya sa plastic bag. Ibibenta namin siya sa flea market next year. Try ko siya ibenta. Maybe ano, 2 dollars yung maliit na tanim. Kung tutubo sila. Yan. So, from purple, magiging orange na siya. Kaya, hinihintay ko lang siya maging, ano, brown. Kita nyo, guys. Tatlong container lang yan. Pero, sobrang sili. Naku. Iwan ko kung malamang. Malamang sa malamang. Sobra 100 to. Diba? O, pag makabenta ako niya next year, pambawi gastos na dito sa, ano, ay, naku, punta na tayo dito sa, pambawi gastos sa So, nagasa sa greenhouse. O, oh, ayan. Tingnan niyo yung tanim ko. Kaya nakakalungkot. Oh. Kaya, kasi guys, tingnan niyo naman. O, oh, ang kapal ng ano, ng bubong. Yung sinag ng araw nga, hindi na siya makakapasok dito. Kaya, ayun. Patay ang lettuce. Wala. First time ko talaga na ganito. Na, walang nabubuhay na lettuce. Yung first attempt ko na lettuce. Diyos ko, ang lalaki. Lalaki ng mga dahon. Ang gamit ko naman nun, pero tingnan nyo yung strawberry. Yung strawberry kasi walang pakialam mo. Oh, kahit walang masyadong ano. Walang masyadong araw dito. Ayan. Yung uod, kumakain na naman sa mint ko. Tsaka ano, strawberries yan. Ayan yung strawberries in hydroponics yan guys. Okay. Ayan. Yan, may tubig sa loob. Ah, hindi makita ano. Yan. Yan, may tubig sa loob yan. Yan, hydroponics. At yung, yung runner na sinasabi ko, tingnan nyo, oh. Kumakapit na naman dyan. Kahit saan yan. Pakita yan ng lupa or soil. Kakapit yan. Ayan, so yun... Well, my good news naman at least, yung succulent ba tawag dito guys? <laughs> Comment me below kung anong tawag sa halaman na to. I think succulent, ah, iwan ko basta succulent yata. Tama ba pronunciation ko? <laughs> Ayan, nilagay ko lang, tinry ko lang siya nilagay doon sa coco pit. Katabi nito. Ayan, tumubo din yan. Pero ano siya, once a week lang ako nag spray niyan. Ito naman, katatanim ko lang um, last Saturday. Ito. So, tinry ko sa ano, sa soil. Hindi pala, kokopit. Ito yon Kokopit na binabad sa hydrogen peroxide. Yan. Yan yun. Kokopit yung ginamit ko dyan. So far, buhay pa naman. Tapos, nagtry din ako sa soil, ano, nagtry din ako dito. In hydroponics din. Kaya, tingnan, kas, tingnan natin kung ano. Ububuhay siya. Basta, yung mga lettuce ko nga nakakalungkot o. Oh, kaya, 
ito muna, this year, ito muna yung ano ko, ito muna yung lettuce kasi ano, kakalungkot. Tapos mag-pull na, malamig na, medyo malamig na next month. Tapos pag winter, hindi pwedeng may tubig kasi ano, magpipreeze yung water, yung tubig, ano na, mamamatay yung tanim ko. Kayo yung ano lang, yung iiwan ko, yun lang muna sa ano, yun lang sa lupa. Yung strawberry, yung strawberry naman, ano siya, magsusurvive yan. Ilang winter nang haya doon sa tub eh. ilang years na yan. Tapos yung na-harvest ko rin pala na ano, batong, <laughs> sitaw, yun. Dry muna namin para makuha namin yung buto for next year. Around February or March next year, yan o. Oh. namin. Tapos yung broccoli ko, Diyos ko, patay lahat. Pinapon ko na lang kasi ano eh, sobrang, sobrang laki na ng, ng steam tsaka yung dahon. Wala ng space dito. Tapos kinakain ng mga ano, insekto. Pero yun nga lang guys, yung sabi ko nga, nakakalungkot yung ano, nangyari sa lettuce. Kaya, lettuce really needs 6 to 8 hours of sunlight. Tapos, uh, yung pH, uh, kailangan i-check nyo rin. Yung pH nyo okay naman. Kaso nga lang, walang masyadong ano, init ng araw, sunlight. Kaya ayun, wala, patay. Pero ito ulit yung ginamit ko na ano. Ito yung first uh, nutrients na gamit ko. Powder siya, Maxi Grow 10 Yun yung unang harvest namin na uh, sobrang laki ng, ano, uh, ng mga dahon ng lettuce. Successful yung unang harvest namin guys. Nasa video din namin yun if you wanna check that. So, ito yung Maxi Grow available in uh, Amazon. Ano siya. Bumili ako ng dalawa niyan. Kasi ano, nag-discount siya sa Amazon ng 15 dollars $15 a pack. So, bumili ako ng dalawa. 15 or 14 dollars. Parang ganun. Tapos, yung, yung pangalawang batch namin, ang gamit ko naman. Kasi kailangan ko mag-try ng iba-iba para malaman ko kung anong resulta. Ano yung pinaka the best. Tapos yung pangalawa naman, naman namin, ito yung gamit, gamit ko. We use this Kali Magic 100. So ano siya, liquid siya, kaya ano siya, mabilis, mabilis at madali lang siya i ihalo sa tubig or sa tub. Kahit nga sa ano, sa orange tree namin tsaka sa orange tree tsaka sa kangkong, sa iba pang halaman, strawberries, yun yung gamit ko din. Kasi concentrate din siya. Kaya, oh, kakalang ko talang greenhouse, guys. Ayoko makita yung mga tanim na, ano, mamatay. Kakalang ko. Pero wala akong magawa kasi, ano, hindi ko siya maayos mag-isa. Kasi, yun nga, sabi ko, last week, may, ano, may legumes na natur si Habi sa right leg niya. Kaya, hindi siya pwedeng umakyat or kahit ano, kahit nga medyas, hindi niya pwedeng masuot, kaya akong nagsusuot ng medyas niya. Oh! Pag tumatanda na talaga, guys. Kaya kayo, minom kayo ng gatas <laughs> para sa mga buto. Hindi, jo I'm joking. Pero yun talaga, pag may legamis kayo dyan na nabiranin niyo, ay ginoo, sakit ka ayo, sakit sa bugan. Ay, ginoo ko. Okay, so, um, I think that will be all for today. And um, I will uh, show more later because Asia wants to read Tagalog. She wanna show you guys how she can read Tagalog. I don't know if she can still remember. I want to lang talaga kasi last time she nag ano nagbasa ng Tagalog two years old pa lang siya. So but we never teach her. We never taught her how to read Tagalog or English. Never when she was young. So she just learned it by herself. Self. Self-taught ba tawag doon? Yeah, self-taught. Tapos ano siya, pumupunta lang siya sa YouTube yun. Nanunood ng mga English na ano sa YouTube. ABC, counting, tapos hindi ko alam na ano, nanunood din pala siya ng, ng Tagalog. Yung mga baby B, mga numbers. So, when she was 2 years old, nagtaka kami, ba't nagtatagalog to? <laughs> so, yun. Doon siya natuto magbilang. Tapos, yun nga, matuto siya ng Bobby B, Kaki K, yung mga ganun. Yun, pinagdugtong-dugtong niya, kaya nakabasa siya. Kung nung pumunta kami ng Pilipinas 2 years ago, yun, bumili kami ng aklat. Nandun pa rin, so, mamaya, pag-uwi nila, 
papabasa ko. Tingnan natin kung ma-recall pa rin ni Asia yung Tagalog. Okay? Si Kendra, ewan ko guys. Hindi talaga nakikinig yung bata na yan. So, it's easy for me to tell Asia to do such things like this. Kasi ano siya, nakikinig. Pero si Kendra, gusto niya maglaro ng maglaro. Kaya, ayun. Ayan yung yard namin guys. Oh, kita nyo yung greenhouse. Double ang ano. Bubong. Ayan. So. Ay nako. Kakalungkot pa rin. Pero. We'll see. Pag ano na okay na yung asawa ko. Sana. Uh, I-fix na namin yung greenhouse na yan. At least may time naman kasi. Kami kasi ano nga. Mag winter na in a few months. Hindi na pwede magtanim. Kaya for next year. Sure na yan na ano. Okay na yung Okay na yung greenhouse namin hopefully. Kasi kailangan ko ng space para doon sa mga sili, yung Malaysian purple na mga sili, yung chili, I need that one. I need the greenhouse for that so I can start planting them by February next year at the end of February hopefully. All right guys, I hope everything is okay. Um once again, sobrang maraming salamat sa lahat po ng ating mga kababayan na sumuporta sa channel namin. Please, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Guys, sa lahat ng pinsan ko, mga classmate, kababayan ko na hindi pa nag-subscribe, please subscribe and like and share na rin, please. And again, Ma'am Christian, thank you so much, Ma'am. And uh, hope one day we'll see each other. <laughs> and uh, God bless you all, guys, and your uh, each one of your family and stay safe po tayo lahat okay? Hello guys and Asia and Kendra just came back from school so today like I promise she gonna read you a Tagalog book so it's Filipino 101 with Asia. Ready na? Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay so let's do it here start now start na dito Papa Bobo Baby, yeah, baby. Bobo. Bobo. Mm -hmm. Biba. Bobo. Mm -hmm. Bobo. Mm -hmm. ba mm. ba -be. Uh. Where? ba -be. ba -be. Oh, yeah, ba -be. Kate. Kate. It's a hard and the soft, right? The E and the E. O and the, the U, the U. Okay. Next page or that one ka ko ki ko ke ka ko ki ka ke ki ko kam kom kam ki ka ko ki ko ka ke ki ka This is like he my friend in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Shout out to her. Dito mm na. -hmm. Da de di do 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 di do de da de da do di do da de di do dap dip dop dap das da dap it's Tagalog so dup oh dup yeah dus dus das Dos. Yeah, because da, de, di, do, do. Okay, okay. Ito na. Dos. Mm -hmm. It's like dos from Spanish too. Das, dis, dos, dar, dar, der, dur, dur, dor, dor, dor. Okay. Ha, he, he, ho, hu. His, hos, has, has, his. Hal, he, hal, Hell, hell, hall, hall. 
かけきこく。かけきこく。うん。いと、りとかでるつ。いと。まくさないたよ。Mame mi mo mu, mas mes mis mos mos. Mame mil mor mul, mame min mon mon. Moon! Moon! Okay. O, chaka. U, E, I. Okay. Okay, Bob. Na na ni no no. Nel nel nil nol nul an en in on on nem nim nam nom num. Okay. Let's go. Sentence. Yan. Ito. Up. Di to mo na bo. Pusa bo masa tayo. Let's read. Next. Pasahin mo a, mm. ap, apa, as, aso, mm. am, ama, at, ata, mm. ap, aba, an, ano, mm. apa, apa, pu, puo, mm -hmm. puo, abo, abo, pipe. No, it's not so. Pepe. Bibi. 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 Iba. Iba. Baba. 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 Ubo. 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 Baba e. Baba e. Baba e. Girl. Baba na sa baba. Oh, bless you. Pata. Papa. Paso. Bahai. Bahai. It's not English. Bahai. Bahai. Buhai. Bukal. Apo. Buku. Biku. 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 Okay. Sounds like Pico. When I say it. Bibi. 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 Uh oh, we're reading Tagalog, not Bape. English. You read it by syllables. Bape. Nope. You already read it. In... Yeah, ba ba e. Okay. Baka. Mm -hmm. It's like Japanese. Abaka. It's about reading Japanese things. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pocket. Mm -hmm. Kubo. Mm -hmm. Bolo. Mm -hmm. Ubo. Yeah. Tuna. Ka. Kubo. Kami. 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 Kani. Your favorite. Rice. Kahon. Kanan. Kaliwa kanan. Remember? Koko. Koko. Yeah, koko. We're gonna clip your koko. Kahol. Kahol. Kasoy. Kita. Kita. Kasal, kaha, kama, kama, ama. Okay, next. Pasa, supo, sapa, aso, sino, sipa, susi. It sounds like susi. Ista, pasa. Paso, sitao, usa. It's not USA, usa. It's Tagalog, okay? Suli. Huh? Sili. Si. Mais. Picas. Dios. Dios. Patis. Mataas. Gatas. Ano yung gatas? Ano gatas? Yun yung paborito ni Asia, oh. Gatas na naman. Milk na naman si Asia. <laughs> Laging umiinom ng milk si Asia. Umaga, tanghali, gabi. Milk ng milk. 
sige na na. Basahin mo na. Patis. Patis? Saan yung patis? Saan yung tea? Saan? Patis. Eh? Patis? Ito? Patis? No! Basahin mo ulit. Mm. Ano yan? Tea? Tama. Patis. Oh, mami. <laughs> Next. Mataas. Mm -hmm. Katas. Alis. Mm -hmm. Manis. Huh? Uh, panis. Mm -hmm. Lapis. Okay. Nanay. Nanay. Mm -hmm. Tunay. Tutoy. Mm -hmm. Tatay. Mm -hmm. Patay. Mm -hmm. no Noy. Mm -hmm. Pahay. Mm -hmm. Kahoy. Kahoy. Mm -hmm. Simon. Kamay. Baboy. Tulo. Tuloy. Tuloy. Next. This is the last page. Okay. I pill. I pill. I pill. Not I pill. That's English. We're reading Tagalog, okay? Okay. Palako. Palakoy. Palakol. Pakal. Bakal. Barrel. Mm-hmm. Pukal, mm -hmm. kambal, mm -hmm. tamboy, of tambol, ito tazunay, kuhol, mm. aral. Okay, keep reading. Uh, what, uh, when you don't say, I just think I write wrong. Kahol, mm -hmm. util, mm. mahal. Okay. Pola. Talapa, mm -hmm. Ulo, mm -hmm. Lola. Who's your Lola? Mama Kunching? And Mama. And Mama. Okay. Lalaki, mm -hmm. Laba, mm -hmm. Lolo. Who's your Lolo? Papa. Papa and? Papa Tuni. Papa Tuni in heaven, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Malaki, mm -hmm. Lasso, mm -hmm. Sili. Mm-hmm. Malapo. Mm -hmm. Labi. Malabo. Mm -hmm. Labi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Pilao. Mm -hmm. Kilala. Mm -hmm. um, Come on up. Luma. Mm -hmm. And Lobo. Mm -hmm. Halika. Mm -hmm. And Luto. I'm positive. Yay! Asia can read! Right guys? Mm -hmm. That's for Asia tonight in Tagalog. So I have to give them a bath. They just arrived from school. We have to pick them up. Because the bus is so late. It's so going to come at 4 15. Yeah, it come at 4.15. If I will let them ride the bus, they will be here like 5.30. So we went there to pick them up, both of them. Okay guys, because we're going to eat dinner. We're gonna. I, I need to give them a bath and then they can eat dinner. Thank you for watching again. Bye bye. Bye. Maraming. Maraming. Salamat. Salamat po. Okay. Paalam. Hanggang sa muli. Keep watching the video, guys. We have more. We have more for you in this this one. Okay. And you have to watch Daddy cooking something for mommy. Bye bye. Sleepy. Just this one. Going to the doctor now. And this doctor.
just a button. No right turn all red, and you make a right turn all red. Is that weight for bonus to the risk? Medical center thing.
we're going to make a homemade vegetable soup with beef. Um, I've got the stuff where I'm getting ready to start. It is in the refrigerator. So I'm going to go ahead and bring all this out. Let's start to thaw out, and I'll show you everything that we have as soon as I get it laid out. My wife wants me to show you how to make this soup today. She's been bugging me about it a lot lately, so here we go. Now, what we have here is, you have this handy. Vegetable soup is anything you like that you want to put into your soup. I personally like okra, white corn, tomatoes, things of that nature. So this is stuff I put in mine. You can put anything you want. Uh, I mean, if you like turnips or rutabaga, anything like that, any kind of corn, um, you know, like I said, okra, mushrooms, anything, you can put it in there. Uh, a lot of this we buy at the store. All of this we buy at the store. Uh, <clears throat> some of this we can grow ourselves, okra and cut it. What we do here is, though, we buy the canned goods, unfortunately. I could take tomatoes and dice them up and use those. But one thing that you can't do that you do have to buy at the store is a thick tomato paste. This is what gives it its, its flavor. It's a thick, real thick tomato paste. It's very gummy. Uh, what I usually do is I make a large container, and we'll show you that in a minute. So I end up using two cans because I get the best flavor from those. I have a small and a large. And then later on, when the soup's about ready, I'll put things in like uh, diced tomatoes. I'll use the juice from the tomatoes. Uh, I'll put uh, lima beans in. I personally like lima beans, so I'll put that in. But what I do here is I drain the juice on any of the stuff. If I'm putting like canned corn or something like that in, I will drain the juice from that and just put the dry ingredient in. Uh, mushrooms, the same way. I'll take and drain the juice out and just put the, the mushrooms in there. But what we have here is we have first, whoops, we have frozen white corn is leaking all over the place. Uh, <laughs> this is frozen white corn. I'll put it out and I'll let it thaw out a little bit. Two bags, right? Yeah, I have two bags of that and I have two bags of okra. And what yeah. we'll do here is uh, I'll put these in. When you add these to the pot later on, and it's going to take a while for me to get the beef tips going. Uh, when I add these to the pot, it brings the temperature of the soup inside the pot. It brings the temperature down. So I'll just add... Um, like a couple of bags of the okra and then I'll let it build back up to heat for about five or ten minutes then I'll add the corn because it's going to drop the temperature again and then I'll let it build back up and then I'll start adding the canned ingredients towards the end but what we have to do first is I clean up the mess I made <laughs> but I have two our, uh, beef tips is what these are yeah beef. but you can just buy any kind of uh, roast or anything at the store and you can cut it up into little cubes and what you do is you boil these. We're gonna boil these in uh, hot water for about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. They'll start to get tender. And when they do, they're gonna release a beef stock. It's gonna make a real nice broth in with the uh, beef tips. I'll start adding the ingredients to that beef stock and it gives it a little extra flavor. So what we're gonna do here first, we have to get the water up to temperature I have to cook the beef tips, put them in. Like I said, that'll take between an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. Depends on how tender you want them. But the beef tips will continue cooking while I'm adding the other ingredients. So all together, you're gonna have about two, two and a half hours in, into making this. But at the end of it, it's gonna be well worth it. Trust me. Have water heating up on the stove. I cannot tell you if this is a 10 or 12 quart pot but it may even be a six. I'm not sure. This is the biggest pot I have and I will make this completely full of soup. So what I have to do is I just added some water to it. I added about, uh, I think it was 10 cups of water and I've got the burner on now so we'll have to wait for this to come up to temperature and start boiling. Then I'll put the uh, beef tips in. But normally I'll keep it on, you don't want it up too high because you don't want to overcook them too fast. This for me is medium. This is right in the middle and I'll go just past middle. I don't want to take it up high. So between five be, and six. Yeah, I just want it to be a little past medium 
and it'll take the water about 10 minutes to start getting up the temperature and then we'll add the beef tips. Okay. All right, guys, as you can see here, and I hope they can hear me, uh, the water's starting to boil, so we're gonna be putting the stuff in. Now, here's one thing I am going to do. This is something that I've added to the soup. I think you guys know what this is, Magic Syrup. This is how my wife makes this part of the soup hers. She gets to add to the recipe. So, I'll pour this in. It adds a unique little flavor to it. Yeah, for any of the ones that don't know what this is, you need to go to a local Asian store and look for a Magic Syrup and then add this to some of your stuff. It's great, great uh, saute and flavoring. Now we have two packs of beef tips. Believe it or not, this is the hardest part of this whole thing making the soup. Okay? Check me. This is the hardest part of it. Okay? So we didn't wash Oops. you don't wash the beef here in the US that it's already washed right there. Alrighty. Told you. That's the hardest <laughs> part. <laughs> This soup is easy to make, it just takes a little time. Uh, like I said, you can add anything you want, any kind of vegetables you want. I think if you really wanted to, you could probably add some fruit to it. I've never done it. No way. <laughs> it defeats the purpose of calling it a vegetable soup. But you can, you can add any vegetables you want. Uh, fresh is probably better, but if you have a store where you can go to, and buy the stuff. I recommend the white corn and and the yellow corn. You can mix the two together. But it's just going to become a homemade vegetable soup. That's what it is with beef tips. And we're going to teach the little ones how to make it here soon. <laughs> Kendra always want to help. But that's basically it. Now I got three, basically 317 now. So water just starting to boil. It's, this one's probably not going to be ready until close to five o'clock when I'll start adding all the other ingredients. I usually let it go for about another 30, 45 minutes after that, but all you're doing is you're adding the vegetables and then you're letting them heat up. So the main thing is you wanna make sure the beef tips are you know, mostly cooked because they're gonna stay in the soup as you're adding the rest of the ingredients. That's gonna take a little while. So it's gonna cook for another 30, 45 minutes after you start adding everything. But basically it's just, it's my eye. There's no set thing to do this for 45 minutes, do this for 15, do this for 30 or whatever. It's your own discretion. You know, you cook your beef tips to where you like them. And then once they're to that point, then you just start adding the other ingredients, but you have to let everything heat up real good and gel together. Uh, once I start adding the uh, tomato paste, it's gonna make it a more tomato base flavor. So you want all the vegetables to soak that up and the meat to soak it up. So that's why you have to give it a little more time after you start adding everything. All right, hey guys, welcome back. It is now almost two hours later since we first started and the beef tips are getting softer. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna turn the temperature down just a little bit and I'm kneading a little below. And then let's see here, we gotta look at the water. Let me stir them up so you can get a good look at them. See here. Beef tips are starting to turn real good. They're getting soft. They're going to cook more while we're cooking the uh, soup. So this is what we're ending up with. We got a nice beef broth that's going to mix together. Oh yeah, this is already shaping up to be good. Now I've already added the magic syrup. And I always like to add the okra first. It's still kind of frozen. So, what we're going to do here is cut these two. Now, like I said, once you add this, it's going to bring the temperature down. So, we're going to let the temperature rise back up. And then we'll add the corn, which will do the same thing. But then after that, we'll be okay. We can add all the canned ingredients. And that should, it shouldn't drop the temperature in at all. So you have to wait. To get good and cooked. Yeah, we'll have to go through little phases. Uh, 
you know, it'll be about five, 10 minutes on this, and then the corn will be about another five or 10 minutes. And then we'll start adding the other ingredients, but I will add the tomato paste, and I want you to see that because it will turn the uh, beef broth a tomatoey base flavor. So we'll let that really soak into the vegetables and the meat, and it makes it good. Okay, so we're going to let this do its job, and then we're gonna come back and film doing the corn and the other stuff, but I'm just gonna get all this mixed up, let it go. And all earlier, I did add a little bit of garlic. I don't have fresh garlic right now. Didn't plan for this, so I added a little bit of powdered garlic. So I like a little garlic flavor in mine. Yeah, this one. Uh, I, like little, I like to get a little garlic flavor in there, a little bit more. Do you need a minced onion? Yeah, it's not going to hurt anything. Do you uh, need an onion? What about the onions? Yeah. All right, I got me a new thing of minced onion yesterday. And what we're going to do here, get that some of that out. <laughs> All right, this is minced dried onions. Once you mix it back in with the water, it rehydrates. It's dehydrated onion. And once you put it in here, it mixes back with the water and it turns back to a regular onion and it gives it a good flavor. So I'll put a bit of that in. As you can see, I don't measure anything. I <laughs> never have. Uh, I've done this so much, I kind of know it anyway. But there's no measuring to any of this. You just put in what you want, as much as you want, and as much as the pot will hold. Yeah, it depends on how many people you're feeding. So. Like I said, we'll let this simmer for about five or 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll do the corn. Okay. And I've already taken the opportunity to open up the tomato paste. See how thick this is? It's a thick tomato sauce. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take and add it to it. To get the spoon warm okay. so it comes off easy. Hold on a second. Can you show me where they are? Not yet. Let me do this. Like I said, I've got two cans. One here is uh, 12 ounces, and I think the other one's about four ounces. I have to check it and see that I'm pretty sure it's four ounces. So I want to go ahead and add the tomato sauce to it now so it'll start mixing with the uh, broth. <coughs> This one is six ounces. So we have it. Now, like I said, we'll just take it all out, add it to it. Now, there's one little thing that I personally like to do. Because everybody, when you're cooking, you have your own little critiques that you like to do, your own little specialty things. I like to get some hot water going. Because there's still some good sauce in here. And I'll put a small one up. Gets it all off the sides. And then I'll take and pour it into a bigger can. So most of it's out of there and it liquefied it. So mm -hmm. now, one thing about doing this is it is a little messy. <laughs> yeah, it's messy. Pots and everything. I'll pour all that in there. So we've got most of it out. So that's all we're trying to do. And 
And now we're going to mix all this up. See how it's turning tomato base. I'm mixing it with broth. And the meat and the vegetables. We'll start soaking all that in. And it also thickens up a little bit, so it makes you a thicker soup. This is really, really good on a cold day, but you know, if you live in a part of the country where, or in the world where you don't have a cold day, then you know, it still makes a real good meal. It'll fill you up in quick time. But, you know, if you live somewhere where you have fall and winter, it makes a real good uh, dinner for that. It'll warm you up. So now we're going to go ahead and add the corn. So that's what that's all for? Mm-hmm. That is cooking. So. White smushy corn. Huh? Do I pour it in? Okay. Well, like I said, this is still cold. What if we put Dorian? You okay. said. Hey, okay, Christy. <laughs> you said we can put fruits. Maybe we can put you dorian. You probably could. I've never tried fruits, but I mean, you probably could. I'll, it'd be interesting. Well, in the Philippines, we can put um, jackfruit. Not the yellow jackfruit, but uh, the green jackfruit. The one which is yeah. not ripe yet. Yeah, yeah, that would be good I mean, in this. Well, the thing about vegetable soup is you can add anything to it you want, just as long as you got a pot big enough to hold it. Mm -hmm. I've got a bigger pot down in. In our utility yeah, shed. Yeah, any available vegetables oh, yeah. in your place. Yeah. See, yes. mix it all up. We're going to let this simmer for about 10 15 minutes, and then I'll add the rest of the ingredients, and you'll see that. And then this pot will be completely full, and then we'll let it. Uh, Can I put this? Uh, whoop, okay. We'll let this uh, boil a I'm little bit. Okay. Aisha will do the. Yeah. What's that, Shell? Garlic? Onions. Oh, onions. Asia is adding onions right now, helping Don't daddy. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more, so you gotta have a little onion flavor. Or you can add onions, you can dice up an onion and put it in there. You can it's dice optional. up a garlic. Yeah. You can dice up a garlic and put it in there too. Anything you want to put in here, you can. So you so, just have to uh, let that one boil? Yeah, I'm gonna let this get back up to temperature just a little bit and then we'll add the other cans. Go ahead and show them that because you have tomatoes and beans and stuff you have to add to Yeah, he's gonna add this one, the lima and diced tomatoes. Mushroom pieces and strings and What what daddy? What add? Mushroom and yeah. Mushroom. Diced tomatoes and tomato juice. Yes. Gals, we're back. Now we're going to add the tomatoes along with the tomato sauce. Okay, these are diced tomatoes. And we'll pour them in there. Like I said, this is the vegetable soup with beef tips. And mushroom. And yeah, mushrooms. Well, mushrooms. Okay, lima beans, and you can see my pot is getting full. Last but not least, mushrooms. That's pretty much it. We'll just mix this all together. We'll let it simmer for a little while, maybe another 20 minutes, and should be ready. That's basically it for vegetable soup. You just anything you want, anything you want to add, anything you like. You have to cook, you know, each individual thing for a while. Bring them all together, bring them to a boil, get them all mixed up. Let them soak up some of this tomato sauce. And then you're going to have a homemade vegetable soup. That is going to be good. And that will be off what? Up to Monday. So. We have time to eat this one. Oh yeah, yeah we have time. See here, everything's gonna mix together. You got okra, tomato, corn, mushrooms. Lima. You got Lima beef. beef. So you got everything in there. It's easy to make. It just takes a little time. And like I said, this will feed a family of six, probably two days solid. So actually it's rather more than that. Yeah, it's a so, big part. We'll see where we're at in just a little bit. We'll show you the final results in just a little while, okay? All right.
Alright guys, <clears throat> welcome back. Here's our end result. Let's see what there. It's tender, juicy. <laughs> you can say that about vegetable soup. Beef tips, gonna get some juice in there. Tomatoes. Yeah, he didn't put salt while he's cooking that one guys. So we put salt when we put it in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> this is your end result. Yum. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> yeah, so you can eat this one what with crackers or eat the like yeah. yeah. Yeah, I will eat that one with this one. It's garlic bread. So that will be mine. So that's, that's the soup guys, and then like I said, you can eat it with anything. Uh, I choose what? Garlic bread, right Dada? Mm -hmm. Or you can eat that one with, normally we eat this with crackers, but in the Philippines, honestly, I will eat that one with uh, with rice. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... Actually, I want to put rice in it one time. Yeah, he want to put rice that one before. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be all for today so that's what it was uh daddy randy was cooking it's a uh, beef vegetable homemade soup thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe comment and like our channel bye bye go <laughs> thank you <laughs> we got we're gonna eat our okay guys so na yung niloto ni hubby ni daddy randy na soup so wrap mm. Yum. Saka yung ano, yung kinapay. Hmm. Yan yung diced tomatoes. Hmm. Thank you guys. Ayan guys, ubos ang soap. Na niluto ni Habi, walang natira. <laughs> Ganyan po kasarap. Okay? Simot sarap. <laughs>